Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. Today I'd like to have a look at how the 3 minute YM, the YM is the mini DAO in the USA, uh, one of the four USE minis that we look at. So I'd like to look at how the 3 minute YM unfolded yesterday, that is April uh, the 11th, Monday the April 11th, uh, using MT Predictor 6.5, because there's a couple of points here that uh, are quite good to highlight various trade management strategies. If we go through the day here we can see there are um, four <coughs> excuse me, four potential cell setups. Um, the first two are down as history triangles even though they're double tops. But if we start looking at these I'd like to uh, just make a point that um, for standard traders using the MT Predictor software program we trade in the direction of the STF color which is our indicator down here where blue is an uptrend, black is flat and red is a downtrend. So you can see if I look at where this first potential setup unfolded the STF was blue so standard traders should not be trying to sell against a blue uptrend. <coughs> the same uh, can be said for the second trade setup which unfolded here again the STF is uh, blue therefore you shouldn't be trying to sell against a blue uptrend. The third setup is okay because here the STF is black and the same can be said for our fourth setup here because the STF is red. So standard guidelines are to only trade in the direction of the STF. Once you become an advanced trader you can then move on to looking at the larger degree trend on the 15 minute charts to then gauge your trend direction and you no longer need to look at the STF. <coughs> but for now standard trade uh, uh, users or st standard trade management for the newer users among the among the MT Predictor uh, software users is you only trade in the direction of the STF. Again advanced traders will move beyond that once they're becoming more experienced. So you'd have ignored these two setups and you'd have taken this TS3 cell. So let's put the analysis on. Right mouse click, select automatic setup, we click on the color reversal bar and there you go, the setup is, uh, or the analysis is placed on the setup uh, straight away for you, including uh, the risk control here, uh, in this case keeping our risk under 2% of a $20,000 sample account, so that means less than $400. Our position sizing works out how many contracts, we'll then keep that risk under control for you. <clears throat> we then have our target placed on the chart, uh, automatically for you as well. Again, <clears throat> for standard traders, uh, the standard trade management guidelines uh, suggest that when you reach the first target, which we did on this bar here, we then come down to the STF <clears throat> and we look at what we call the strength band. That's this grey line. So if, if the STF is weak, in other words it's less than the strength band, we assume that the market is not trending <clears throat> and therefore we want to come out at our target. In other words, we want to take profits earlier. If it was beyond its strength band, we assume that the market's strong and therefore we'd trail with our ATR stop. But in this circumstance, it wasn't strong, it was weak, therefore we come out of the first target for a nice uh, plus uh, 3R profit. So that was a good trade from up to this, from this high down to the first target. The result was a nice plus 3, 3R profit. So a good trade set up there. If I clear the chart off, uh, I want to have a look at this last setup here. If I put the analysis on, you can see that the market got down and just tagged our 100% initial risk level. Normally, we suggest not using this uh, for uh, intraday trades because the intraday market can be very spiky. Uh, we only tend to suggest using this if the larger degree trend is unsure, and that's more of an advanced technique. However, there's one exception. Uh, and again this is for slightly more advanced traders in that normally when a TS3 uh, or TS4 setup uh, does not go in the anticipated direction, as you can see this didn't reach the first target, it will very often reverse at the DP, so let's put that on, the DP from the prior wave B high or low. So we click on choose swing high or low and decision point, we click on this wave B and as you can see this projected the level at which the market reversed absolutely brilliantly. So one thing I will say is for the advanced traders among you, when a TS3 or TS4 setup 
uh, moves in your direction and reaches the DP from the prior wave uh, B high or low then at the very least you should have your stop at break even because we know this is an area where support or resistance can come in in this case support because it's a short trade and as you can see this nailed this low absolutely beautifully before the market reversed so they gave you ample time to get your stop to break even so even though this setup did not go to the first target it would have been a break even trade so that's a good tip for the more advanced traders among you so having said that it was quite a good day for the um, 3 minute YM yesterday because this trade would have been break even the first two setups here against a blue STF would have been ignored and the only trade you would have taken yesterday on the 3 minute YM was this standard trade into the first uh, target here this TS3 cell in the direction of a black STF for a nice plus 3R profit so a good day overall on the 3 minute YM yesterday using MT Predictor 6.5